is a big part of all of our lives growing up. We imagine ourselves as kids playing with lightsabers. Um, Queen <laughs> Amidala. Queen Leia uh, really was a big playboy. Jesus. That all young boys were interested in. <laughs> Today, we're going to tackle the big one. We're going to talk about that famous sci fi Star Wars. <laughs> Oh, that was terrible. So I'm Dan. And I'm Nick, folks. We're old friends dissecting one topic at a time. People, technology, media. We've got it all covered. Each discussion here is a deep dive into our unique perspective. The taboo, forbidden subjects, they're all on the chopping block, baby. We don't pander to popular opinion. We might even get a little bit dirty. Warning. This podcast may contain mature language and sexual content and is for infotainment purposes only. So join us. Have a good time. Open up your ear holes, because we're going to fondle your follow. <laughs> All right. Ho! Welcome aboard, everybody. Yes. I'm, I'm mm-hmm. Nick. And I'm Dan. Dan. And we have a th- we have a guest today. Uh, uh, also, also Dan, also Dan. But you have to go by a different name to make it not confusing. What's the thing? Okay, I'll be Dan. I'll be Dan one, and <laughs> I'll you be, under be Dan pan, five. Underpan Dan. <laughs> okay. Underpan Dan. <laughs> underpan. Uh, that's pretty good. So anytime I say Dan, look at both of them, and both of them are going to look up here. So ironically enough, um, same answer. Dan comes out of Dan mouth. two. Dan two here, or um, what the fama Dan, or what the famicon. You can find him on his websites. I don't know if we have it listed. Did nope, we? No, can't that? afford a website. I did. Uh, yeah, they're down there. There's a uh, your Twitter handle. What the famicon? Oh, really? Your Twitter, mm-hmm. oh, your Twitter okay. handles right there. Isn't that crazy? Yeah. Anyway, you can find him. He's the infamous one who's been following this podcast since the beginning. Anyone mm. who's a big follower of a us, lurker. eventually. We have to legally let you have a guest episode. So that's what this is. This is a guest episode for our biggest fan. He um he writes into the show all the time. You may remember from past episodes. Mm-hmm. He has a fart collection. He has shoe problems. His girlfriend steps on his penis a lot. Sometimes all three. <laughs> Sometimes all three are connected. That's crazy. Oh, that's, that's a weird yeah. fetish. That's why we wanted you on. But today, guys, we're talking about the big one, Star War, that big ultimate trilogy. Yeah, huge it's Star three War. Three movies in a row. We love Star War. Wait, Star War? Plural. Star Wars. Plural. Yeah, 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 yeah. I forget. How, there's, how many wars? Does, I don't even know. How, how many, many wars? I wars. actually think it's just one singular war, oh. <laughs> to be honest. So they, they mistitled so their Star own war. It's just lasting a really long time. Uh, so it's Star War. We were right. You're, you're fully correct, yes. They should have well, retitled their movie then. All joking aside, it is one of the biggest... It's probably one of the biggest sci-fi things of our generation, right? I mean, yeah. Game of Thrones will probably go down in history, but Star Wars, like, has is 30, 30 years, years older and has, yeah. like, this huge following, and it, like, spawned off nerddom in general. So, uh... <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I tried to play it off, guys. Wow. Oh, man. So, um, nerddom no, fan... I was going to say... Uh, just to say, like, there's only like a handful of things from our generation that as big as Star Wars. Like, I can sort of something like as cultural, culturally big as that. Maybe the Matrix, even though it doesn't yeah, have maybe. any many movies. Like, right. everyone in the world knows Matrix. Everyone, um, Harry Potter, maybe. I can't remember. Harry Zelda. Potter. Yeah, Harry Potter. Like the Zelda. Zelda? Or... I did say Zelda. Is that weird? I was gonna yeah. say Zelda. Like, it's like Mario. movies, dude. There's no Zelda well, movie. It's a lore. I mean, there's Zelda lore. I mean, that spans like two decades, right? What's really... What's the next biz- like biggest Disney movie? There's no like Disney trilogies that are huge, are there? No, I guess you're right. Are like, Disney's I mean, all like one and dones? I mean, pretty... they have sequels, but nothing like a trilogy or like a set timeline. Is there any yeah. Disney that's set in an alternate world and it like keeps happening? Like, you know what I mean? I think Aladdin. I think the first Aladdin. 
don't think so. <laughs> I think I think that's incorrect. No, um, Star Wars is obviously everybody in the universe knows Star Wars is literally like you say it's, Star Wars. It has its own like aura and essence. Like there's a it's a multi yeah. media juggernaut. So let's get into this. I guess Lord of the Rings is like kind of the closest yes. thing because there's like that's, yeah because. Okay. Yeah. The thing about all of these things, whether it's Star Wars or Lord of the Rings or whatever, it's an entire universe, and they have their mm-hmm. own languages and cultures and people and battles and uh, transgressions and love stories and all these things. So it's kind of like, <laughs> yeah, I use big words. Uh, based on, yeah, based no, on no, our I'm not really sure. It's uh, yeah, Marvel it's, Cinematic it's Universe, Mark. Star Wars, uh, Harry Marvel Potter, universe. Yeah, Marvel James universe. Bond, yeah. and Lord of the Rings. Oh, James Bond. James Bond we didn't get. Good yeah. one. Good on yeah. you, JB. Good on you. Yeah. Always played by a white guy, right? Do we agree on that? E, For now, yo, I think. Yo, man. Hot topic, thought, dude. Actually, I thought... Andrew Elba, maybe? Ertis Urbra. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I was just was... talking about that to my girlfriend. I was Are saying you? how I really he, wanted he, to be. He, he, he got not, it. Right? He's not too uh, fine. Uh, oh, well, I would have been, like, cool. He's, he's getting there. Just saying. He's working his way up. Okay. That's fine. The, um... But Star Wars. Star Wars. One. One. Where it all the, began. Um, the the coolest thing that everyone is drawn to was like the lightsaber, right? Like, is the lightsaber like ultimately the saving grace of Star Wars? Uh, I would agree. Like the first thing, you, if you see a little kid trying to yeah. act like he's in Star Wars, he has a, he's, a lightsaber. Yeah, you know, he's doing that. Zoom, 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 zoom. Doing yeah, the everyone sound. knows that noise. Even your grandma knows that noise. You know, my oh, grandmother so passed. The sound. The other one. That's weird that you brought that up. She passed today. Is that why you're no, no. <laughs> like, says it with a smile? <laughs> really weird that you. Yeah, would bring why that are you up. smiling? I'm not sure if this is audio only to anybody else. But. <laughs> oh no, no. But anyway, um, we do want to do our ad spot right here, real quick. Guess what I got, folks? Oh, um, the people <laughs> that are our company have a little something called the lightsaber red power. Uh, you can get these at Giant. You can get it at Weiss. You can get it at Whole Foods. Get it for your kids. Get it for your grandmama. Three ninety nine. Listen. Do you hear that? <laughs> Whoa. Holy smokes, folks. Anyway, if you put in our discount code unpanders, you can get this. You would think this is like a hundred dollars, right? This is a piece of technology right here. This this could this could keep you busy for years. You can get it with our discount code for ninety nine fifty. That's a savings of 0.5% if my math is correct. And the thing is gorgeous. So keep your kids busy. Keep your wife busy. You know what I'm saying? Okay, folks? <laughs> keep your wife busy. Um, when she's done with the dishes, she can use a lightsaber. Oh, my God. This is so cool. And I wish it would turn off. It's going to turn off. <laughs> I swear. Anyway, put in coupon code unpander.5%. Make sure the percent comes in front of the five. It's weird. I don't know why. But it's just the way they do <laughs> You got to do it. Wait, can I ask you a question? Yeah, yeah. I, I think when you put promo codes in, I don't think you can put uh, point and percent signs. You have to include all the special characters before you can, you can do that. Is yeah. it the full yeah. word? You have to write the word out point? You have to write N percent, P-E-R-C-E-N-T. Um, I'm not. Uh, that's a really long promo code. I'm not really I mean, sure. that's what they gave us. So yeah. we work with what they give us. But anyway, it's a great product. I don't want to stop anyone from buying it. Hit the keyboards right now, folks. Hit them. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to mess up the. Yeah, no, you no, can't. No, You're not I can't. Logically yeah, savvy. No. So, but, but back to what I was saying. Thank you for our sponsors. Um, back to what I was saying. The lightsaber is like kind of the coolest part of the whole thing. Not to mention space guns and like flying around in spaceships. And- Blowing Light versus dark. Like special powers. Like, uh, Space, the universe. Get into themes. Light uh, versus dark. Well, Look at this guy. I was about to say, like, one of the other iconic things that everyone knows is obviously lightsabers, Darth Vader. Like, yeah. if, you, if a little kid automatically, even if he doesn't know he's a good guy or a bad guy. You know, I had a friend who had a Darth Vader, like, 6, 12 inch from, like, a toy store. And he was, he thought Darth Vader was a good guy. This was, like, a couple years ago. And I'm just oh, like, really? yeah, he was, like, he was telling his own story. Like, he was the hero. Like, quit playing with him. I'm like, what the fuck, kid? You're an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the like, first time 
hit a kid or whatever. I know you went to jail. The fifth, t- fifth time. I didn't know what to do. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's what happens when you. But hit I just, kids. I just remember that because like the kid just the kid knew what who yeah, Darth Vader was. Just, Darth Vader was yeah. powerful, and he knew lightsabers. It's just explaining these like. Hmm. I mean, you can explain it as a heavy themes, or you can split, explain it as like just a family movie, whatever. But like some of those things don't matter to like just general yeah. people that just know these like little tidbits, of what right. it is. Yeah, there's there's a coolness to it, like the costumes, the way they yeah, look, the it. way they move, absolutely, how they fight. Yeah, yeah. It's, uh, it's what they it's what they call uh, what is it um, retro retro future something uh, where it's like very future tech where it looks like run down. Yeah. Yeah, like you've seen it before. It looks like a dirty, looks like a dirty future. Like it's not a clean, nice future. It's like a dystopian, like like a Blade Runner shithole future. Yeah, oh, man, just drop dystopian. Oh my god, and retro future. <laughs> Put that on the resume. Holy, what the <laughs> fuck? Very good. That's why I haven't gotten a job in a while. Uh, All I write about is dystopians on my resume. <laughs> just keep writing that on the rest, on the old resume. Yeah. Dystopian, dystopian, dystopian. It says here you stock shelves dystopian style. You want to get into that? Oh, I'll tell you everything <laughs> sparingly. Uh, Start talking like Mad Max. Yeah, I was just gonna say that's pretty good. Yeah. So we know like what draws everyone: kids, old people, young people. Mm-hmm. It was like it was pretty fresh. Who um, who wrote it? Who who came up with this? George Lucas. God damn, my man. He actually listens to the podcast. He DM'd me after the uh, the one on biology, microbiology. He said it was tight. And I was Did like, he, what? Uh, yeah, yeah. What's his handle? What's his? I'm not allowed to say. It's a disclosure agreement. Send it to me. I can't because you're just a guest. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Big uh, shot. Big uh, shot. Anyway, <laughs> um, yeah, like George G, G to the Luke. He only had two movies under his belt before this, right? One was like a he recreation had, he, of a movie. He had an indie movie called... It was like an indie sci-fi, sci-fi movie called THX 1138. No, that's and not the one I read. American that's... Graffiti. Yeah, yeah, and American Graffiti. So yeah, those are the two movies. That. I don't know where you read what you read, but... Just American Graffiti, thanks. Hmm. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Clearly, they're like, get me out of here. Uh... <laughs> Guest episode over. Oof. Um... So like who who was he? I mean, was he like nineteen doing this? I really have no idea. I didn't do that. No, much I think I I'm pretty sure 24? he was just in film school. Film school, like yeah, he was right out of film school, so maybe early twenties. He made an indie movie. Everyone really liked it. Like it was Did, like a. Didn't he call it the Journal of like El- Willis or something? Originally? It was called um, the Journal of oh, Willis. The Wills. Wills. Oh, Wills. Wills. W i l l s. W h i l l s. You're right. Are you looking God at God damn right. No, I'm not. I yeah. read this today. I told you yeah. I did research. <laughs> research. Someone, most guests who come on here think I don't do research. Yeah. It's a big sticking point I'm on the show. I want to read the text that you sent earlier. <laughs> hey, dude. Dude is spelled D-O-O-D. <laughs> uh, got me with my own text twice. <laughs> what did it say? I'm sorry. I'll, I'll let you continue. None. <laughs> no, that's as far as I got. But my question became... So he created this story. Was he the writer film? as well, the creator of the story? Yeah, I think he did the the whole um, the whole script and everything, right? Is yeah. So he he created this whole universe. Like he wrote it out like it was six movies. Like he wrote six wor- six movies worth of story, mm-hmm. uh, and was was about to make it and realized that shit, this is going to cost a shit ton of money. Like, this is the 70s. So we don't, like, mm-hmm. they don't like you know, right, right, right. And he so was he like, clearly wanted to just take aspects of this huge story. So I believe, like, he's done inter- interviews over the years where he's like, I've written, like, I wrote nine movies worth of stuff. Can you like, do it in his voice? You do good impressions. Um, I'm George Lucas. Um, <laughs> that's all I can do. He right was about now. 30 when he did this. <laughs> okay. Um, but yeah, he, he made everything up. I think he took inspiration from like the night, like Flash Gordon and stuff. Because he, he, oh, I read he wanted to do a Flash Gordon and he couldn't yeah. get the rights to it, right? He grew up to that stuff. So he wanted to make these yeah. like pulpy space opera type stuff. So he just made his own. Interesting. Cool. That's what I came up with. That's crazy. And the so we read the way, same Wikipedia entry. That's awesome. <laughs> yeah. Yes, we did. And the now, groundbreaking you, part right? is what? What's the groundbreaking part? Is that he did his Go own ahead. special effects. Like they're like oh, actual what? graphics. No, like I don't know that. that. Go ahead. Like the lightsabers and the lasers, so and then on. let's just start. Let's start battles. with the first movie then. So he gets permission to do the first movie, which mm-hmm. 
by the way, I always thought it was just called Star War. I didn't realize that had a name, A New Hope or whatever. So funny, it was just called Star Wars. And then when they re-released it, like after Empire Strikes Back and the other movie came out in the 70s, they, because George Lucas was like, these were 50 movies. Like, I want to have a lot. There so it, got, it, got, it got re-released. When it was re-released in theaters, maybe like four or five years after it came out, uh-huh. he added the episode four, A New Hope. No shit. So it was just called Star Wars. And then the other one was just called... I'm going to do it. Empire Strikes Back, Return of Jedi, and later he added those numbers. No shit. Yeah. I didn't know that. But that's funny because I always thought that one was just Star Wars. Like, you know, it technically know? is to everybody. And then, like, on VHSs and DVDs, people were just say, like, oh, New Hope. Like, now there's so yeah, many. Yeah, I never you heard that term. New Hope. Like, today, I was like, what the? What's yeah. a New Hope? And I was like, oh. And it's weird that it's a New Hope because if that was the name of it when it released, I feel like it wouldn't have done as well. Because, no. like, that's like. It's, it's, it's not a name yeah. first yeah yeah for the first episode a new hope like what even though it's the fourth episode we're not getting into that yet <laughs> oh but, like, it, it was met with like super huge success right i don't i'm not sure um no, I'm not sure. First, i have no idea no i don't think it was that big i don't think any of them are that big actually i think they're pretty small <laughs> i i you see I mean, what i'm doing yeah. I know what you're doing. No, it did. No, I really it don't was, know. It right exceeded out, no, right out of the gate, it was like a bajillion dollars. I'm not even kidding. <laughs> no, I believe you. Like, I thought you were coming with numbers. That's why we had you on as a guest. But anyway. um, I'm pretty sure... If you get it right, I'll give you a goddamn dollar. So, like, what are you talking about? Inflation? Or it, No, I know he's Googling it, yeah. so I know uh-huh. you might know it. So I want to see if well, how close you get. I have no idea. I want to say back in theaters, back yeah, then, yeah. it made, yeah. like... 300 or 250 and i think now it's at like well don't do me inflation dude don't do me inflation just tell me the number this is I'll... inflated or not but i think it is because the gross was like 300 million for star wars he said 250 300 i give my man credit yeah. that's pretty good that's... what would inflation be inflation's got to be way more that's right? got to be it's got to be counting inflation i don't see how i could make 300 million back then i'm not gonna do movie stuff because it Movies were different back then. Paying for movies was different back then. Yeah. It wasn't international. Like, there's a whole different scheme mm-hmm. to it. I'm not, inflation, I'm not getting into it. We're not doing it today. It's all no, no, let's talk inflation, please. Come on. I think it's already in there. Yeah. When I saw your mom doing it Inflate. <laughs> I inflated. Anyway. <laughs> what did you inflate? Uh, I think you're conflating I things. I got real fat. Wow. Okay. Maybe. Wow. Uh, so, yeah, made that amount of money. And so they were like, hey, you get the second movie, boom. Like, we got you. Is that how it went? Yeah. So he he wrote completely the first one. Uh, I think the second one, they brought on a fa- like another a famous friend of his, also a screenwriter, named uh, Lawrence Kasdan. Okay. And he helped write Empire Strikes Back. So, and people consider Empire Strikes Back, like, one of the best ones, if not the best ones, because of the writing, because of the story, and like uh, everything that happens in uh, it. So go go over the first one. That's where we come upon Luke, who's in a farmer or whatever, and then I'm not, we don't have to go through the whole line. I'm just kind of yeah. rehashing. He is. I mean, he's a he's out. a farmer's uh, nephew. Basically, he's a nerf yeah, herder. Yeah, is that an uncle? It's it's weird. <laughs> they they work on a moisture farm. What the fuck is that? I think it's because it's in the desert, moisture. right? Yeah, but like moisture farm, like they just spit on each other, and that's how they what they farm. <laughs> Pretty sure that's it. Not it. Uh, Fact check, but we're gonna run with it. Um, oh, Wookie here's an interesting yeah. point to hear. Moisture so farm. we talked about the most popular stories and things that'll outlast our generation. We've come across Game of Thrones, Star Wars, um, Harry Potter, and all that. It's interesting that those three, at least. Start with a protagonist who doesn't know he's special. He's living a normal life, and then he finds out, <laughs> oh, my God. I'm, I'm coming to the age. And the Matrix. You're absolutely correct. You get to learn. Oh, long. Huh? I was going in That's here. That's the wrong movie. Good. We're doing it's supposed to be The Shining. Oh, no. Is this The Shining? <laughs> this is, this is hey, uh, Star Wars. Star Wars. Dan's, uh, both Dan's. And they both said, hey, and one of them said, oh, D. I didn't uh, say that. Tell her I didn't say that. And he didn't say hi. He said howdy. Anyway, I'm not wearing pants. Tell it's her. Good. Okay. It was yeah. all good. It's, they said it was fine. Okay. Uh-huh. They were like, it's stress or lack of sleep or. Mm. Yeah. All the above. 
the tension. Well, I'm going to keep these guys out soon. Well, yeah, I mean, this is a great, this is great material for the podcast. I really appreciate this. <laughs> I think you're trying to get laid later, so you're being nice. Yeah. <laughs> so you're being nice. <laughs> get the fuck out. Wow. <laughs> uh, and anyway, get out. Anyway, yeah. no, you're the man, dude. Yeah. I know. I told you. Are we gonna cut out the other part? Strong fist. Like you're like an abusive no, boyfriend. No, no. <laughs> Get out! I hate you. She has an iron gauntlet, just like slowly. <laughs> yeah. yeah the rings come in. Uh, anyway. Ding 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 ding. ding. Your ding. one of your balls disappears. <laughs> oh. <laughs> They're all gone, folks. <laughs> oh man. Pour me another one. He's right. It was uh, a moisture farm. Comes from nothing, figures it out. You get to grow along with the comes character. From nothing. This you is wish the other you had those cool powers. Thing. You're already alive. It's not like you're born and you find you're coming from nothing and you become famous. You're like 20 or 30. You find out that, whoa, this whole time that my life sucks, I'm special? Yeah, let's do it. And then you go and do an adventure. This happens in Lord of the Rings because um, Bilbo is just some boring ass hobbit. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? He's a boring yep. ass, dumb ass, corny ass hobbit. And he's but got ugly feet. Like yeah, he does. I, yeah. You told me a story. Your son's in the feet or whatever? Um, <laughs> he takes pictures of them in video games. <laughs> I'm not really sure. <laughs> he's Alice. got all these pictures <laughs> on his phone of different video let's, game let's feet. Move forward. <laughs> but, like, these people are boring, normal people, and they're thrust into these crazy situations, and they rise to the occasion, and their life becomes exciting. There's drama. There's a war. They're like the Tropes. they're like the linchpin to like everything. Tropes. So Except for James Bond. It's it's trope. It is yeah. a trope. Uh, the funny thing is the way you're saying it. I didn't think about this until you were just explaining it, but they're very every single one of them has like is like a Christ trope. Or like, uh, I mean, a little bit. Yeah, Christ. Yeah, the theme of like, you know, the savior of like whatever yeah. universe, whatever it is. Like, you know, I like to. I imagine that Christ found out later in life that he was gonna, you know, the story of like that he was gonna save everyone. You imagine like the well, twenty year old find that out, like that kind of stuff. Like, yeah, it's heavy stuff. I mean, think of it. Agent Smith comes up to Jesus Christ and he's like, "You are not assimilating." And, and then Jesus throws the one ring at him. Yeah, he does. And then Pushes him in someone lava. cuts off Jesus' arm with a lightsaber, and then boom. <laughs> that's where we are, folks. That's yeah. where we are. So who's Judas? Oh, my God. In Matrix, it's the friggin' dude. I hate that Cypher. guy. Cypher. Cypher. Oh, I forgot his name. He's the worst. I don't mm. believe it. <laughs> I knew there was an impression coming. <laughs> ah, Trinity, you know what? I just want to eat my steak and pretend. <laughs> He's got this steak. It's not even a line. <laughs> I don't know. He's eating steak in a scene. Yeah, I remember. You know what this steak tastes like? It tastes like I'm free. Oh. Uh-huh. Freedom. Uh-huh. I am making it more like old Jewishy. I love your new dialogue. <laughs> oh, Deleted scene. From that's eight delicious. Hey Trinity, <laughs> check my piece of steak out. <laughs> Trinity, come on! I'm come. going to this diner down the street. I can get a discount. I know the guy. We're gonna tip four dollars anyway. We're gonna get a brisket. You're not gonna believe this. It was actually a whole other movie, wasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Cream of wheat part two. Oh man, <laughs> Matrix One Point One, The Breakfast Diner. Like you know what I mean? On fifth, it's a Quentin Tarantino movie. That'd be, that'd be fantastic. He does, he does a lot of scenes in movie theaters. I mean, in diners, in food places. Yeah, I mean, yeah, like all of them. That's weird. Anyway, George Lucas didn't. That's bringing us back. Mm-hmm. Um. So I want to say George- one. No, go ahead, please. please. So it's, we have it's, all night. Yeah, all we night. have all night. We have all night. So there's weird. It's weird that like these things came out before we were even born, and then we it's, still knew about them even though we were kids. Like he didn't mm-hmm. release another movie until '97, which is when I we're know. like twelve or thirteen. So like, what happened what? in that time frame for us to know about Star Wars? I think it's just the oversaturation of it. Mm, so big that it rode a wave for 10 years that's how big it was yeah i, th- I literally think that's because you got to think if people complain about oversaturation of anything nowadays but star wars was its overwatch, own thing nothing... overwatch gamers girls who play uh, overwatch yeah i'm not really sure where you're getting at but <laughs> um 
But there was nothing like Star Wars. Like there was no Lord of the Rings. There, no, was, no there was like literally right. nothing. So like sci-fi fans clung to this humongous thing. People and said the same thing about Michael Jackson. Book. It's like you can't imagine how big Michael Jackson was because you can't just technology you know, is completely I different know exactly now. Exactly how big he was. My cousin was like eight. Um, went <laughs> yo, over his yo, house. Yo, dude, yo, <laughs> yo, cut the feed. <laughs> um, but this was the biggest thing since sliced bread, if I were to say so. Um, George Lucas created something that was friggin' awesome, and I, I'm not saying this on the podcast live. But he had to have stolen it. It's too good. <laughs> from Greek tragedies is what you're saying? Wait, did we get this from Greek tragedy? I didn't <laughs> yeah, even get that's there. It, yeah. I think that was a direct is rip, it? right? Then like, you find out someone's your brother or sister, and you're like about to have uh, a, a um, love with them. Oedipus, right? Yeah, and then Oedipus? You're, uh, Oedipus? A little too. bit. That's your father. You killed your own father. Well, that's, yeah. Yeah, there's similarities. He kissed his sister. Yeah. That's sort of like Oedipus. He, like, yeah, that is Oedipus. Yeah. Like he, no, he got okay. Lucapus. <laughs> if you could so expunge bad. history. Oh my god, that was so good. <laughs> Lucapus. You should put that in your bio and on your resume. Dystopia it's already Lucapus. on. It's already on there. Lucapus, Lucapus. Wow. It's already on there with dystopia. Yeah, that's good. So, moving forward, because we're trying to drive this towards the new ones, and if we spend all day on the old ones, so first these experience. three movies got me. Yeah. First experience with well, Star Wars. Really- Oh, for real? Um, I went to a movie theater with my aunt Kathy, I think, and I saw The Empire Strikes Back in theaters, when which was weird because it was like probably like ninety four or ninety two. I can something. tell you when. I can tell you when it was. Oh, go ahead. I, it was it was ninety seven because that was the twentieth anniversary, so they re released all of them. Uh, yeah, this guy got me got me pegged because I, like, I saw him in theaters too with my aunt Kathy. Were you yeah, saying? you were you were like a, in the bathroom. What were you doing? I cut a hole in the bottom of the popcorn, popcorn bag. <laughs> bag. And I used it. I ate it all. <laughs> That's a lot of butter. That's so good, man. <laughs> so good. <laughs> <Extra> butter. <laughs> this episode is gonna be so good. <laughs> so salty. Oh my god. <laughs> Goodness. I did so, everything I bought, holes and everything. Oh, man. So that's weird, because I think I remember playing video games before these even came out. Like, I remember... Did all the Star Wars video games, like, come before that? Or did yeah, I... they had uh, Star Wars games for the Super Nintendo and Nintendo. Like, N64? Called, they were just called Star Wars and... Shadows of the Empire? Yes. So, Shadows well, what, of the Empire. I mean, what, are, we allowed to, like, are we allowed to, like branch off into different topics right now we're gonna yeah. come back around to wherever we want so so shadow of the empire i'm sure you realize there's no movie about oh, it shit. you remember the first person shooter there was a star wars anyway god yeah, yeah there was. Shadow, the shadow, of the, yeah. shadow of the empire was their first attempt to make a whole universe without making a movie so they made a soundtrack they made a video game there was a book written mm-hmm. there was action figures there was everything except a movie so they were banking on not having a star wars movie but having giving people the star wars experience because I remember when this came out, I read the book. I had like a, a code book about like the secrets of the book and game. I had the game. I was I was coming to my pants because I was so excited. Like I didn't even know what that was yet. <laughs> coming before you can um, come. I just remember being super hype about it, and I didn't realize that there was no movie. I was like, wait, there's no Star Wars movies. Like, what's going on? Because it was all fake characters. The amazing thing is that I think we all played that game. Yeah, everyone remembers I don't the Battle think of Pop. I did. No, and you probably did. Hold on, no, hold on. Dan's transitioning. Did you catch what he said? The Battle of Hoth. This is his big <laughs> oh, move. Whoa, right, it's the word of the day. Oh. It says, "Hey, dude, I want to talk about the Battle of Hoth." <laughs> How did he spell dude? He spelled dude D O O O D. Three wow. O's. Really weird. This guy's ready for dudes. <laughs> yeah. Twenty nineteen, man. Come on, be what you want. So what are you flying around in in that one? Like you have the AT-ATs going towards the generator or something, and you're flying around yeah. in that. What's what's the ship? I don't remember what the ship is. Um, just the land speeder. Land no, speeder? No, it's not. It's not the land speeder. Um, I forget what it's called, actually. I. This the one with the, the grappling the, hook. For everyone watching at home, it's the big things that walk like dogs. Yeah, no, those are. Those are the AT-ATs. I know. I'm trying, yeah, those, I'm trying to fill everyone in because you guys are skipping a little bit ahead. And they walk like dogs and they go like this. And they... 
Oh, so like your mom on New Year's Eve? <laughs> you guys know each other too well. <laughs> it's oh, so man. odd. <laughs> Nailed it. Nailed it on the head. Oh, man. <laughs> so good. I'm trying to figure um, out what ship this is. I don't remember what the thing was called that you fly in, but that was... I know you love that. I know you want to talk about it, Dan. Because it has so, a grappling hook. The whole thing <laughs> is like... It was. <laughs> it did have a grappling hook. It was like... Because it was the first level of the game, right? Snow speeder. You were right. It was snow, snow speeder. Snow speeder, yeah. Jesus so, was right. Don't yeah, it was the first level. That's what drew everyone in. Because it was the first game where you could really like interact with something. And the whole goal mm-hmm. to take down the ATAT was to fire the grappling hook and then fly around his legs. And yeah. then trip him up. ATAT. ATAT. AT. AT. All terrain, all terrain. That's what it stands for. Why is it twice? I don't know why twice. Because it has four legs? I don't know. I mean, I mean, it doesn't, make sense. it doesn't make sense. It makes sense, but it doesn't make sense. That's why we brought them on. I mean, this is it. That was it. You just got it, folks. Because maybe it has four legs. That's why he <laughs> wanted to get That's why you yeah. got it. <laughs> Thank you. Really in-depth uh, analysis. I'm going to be honest, Nick. You probably either played it with me or you definitely owned it or played it yourself because everybody no, under but the I can tell you I was friends with you and you played it so like it's like I played it and you know what I think you had Dark Forces which is I the one you're Dark talking. Forces a LucasArts game oh my god I got stuck in a part in that game and I think I spent like something like 73 hours in one room just trying to get out of it <laughs> yeah you just don't ever got out of it I never did uh, I seriously never beat that game because I didn't get out of this one room and stunted I was like, your intelligence so so we'll go back froze. to your point, Dan, where you were saying that, you know, there was a huge, I mean, a there, point a couple yeah. minutes ago, but there was this huge space of time where there was no movie. So people yeah. still cared about Star Wars and you were confused, like nothing new. You have games. You had this game Nick was talking about. You have books that people wrote because there were no movies. They wanted to keep the franchise like. So yeah. interestingly right. enough, it's still making money. It still has a fandom. It still has a following. It's those people interested in it. And it was almost fever pitch. Like they were like they wouldn't let it go. And I think movie execs, George Lucas, whoever, I don't know what was the holdup for because they didn't want to do prequels. They needed to no, sign George R. Binks. I think we he just gonna get into wanna, that. like I don't I don't think I think he just didn't have like a full idea and he just didn't like want to ruin it yet. He was too busy so, eating cra- caviar. So where were the nine stories written? Did he I, have them or no? Yeah, he must have had them. But I think okay. because he re- like when he finally made the original Star Wars, I'm sure those got changed around from what he originally envisioned. Right. So then the prequels and sequels would be changed. Yeah. So, so like waiting for technology, technology to rewrite, like polish them. Like originally, um, Han Solo was a giant green monster. Uh-uh. I swear really? to God, look it up. Han Solo was a giant green monster. Yep. Like he was the Hulk. Yeah, he had like a snout and stuff. I swear to God, That's Han Solo was a green monster. So. If that applied to like the prequels or something happened with that, like he had to take it looks that like out. Swamp Thing. Or... The hell? You just look up Swamp Thing. Wait, no, Han Solo You're Green Monster. Me Harrison Ford had a condition where his nose was super long. He doesn't and have he a nose. Bright. He has like a. It actually was attached cleft. to a part of his appendage on his front. Yeah, <laughs> it's like if you had a vagina on your face <laughs> and it's yeah, split. It's basically... <laughs> and it was You're green. Telling me. Um, I, no, I, I swear to God. If, I hit a green with Jack. If you look look up Han Solo, Star Wars, original draft, Dark Horse comics. That's wild, actually. They made a comic of George Lucas's original draft, so Han Solo is green. Uh, weird. I read comics, too. I don't know why you put me on here, dude. I play <laughs> video games. Why didn't you put me on the other podcast, man? I drink wine. <laughs> we... I don't know why you didn't put me on that one. Do you, um, do you experience time? We did an episode on time, too. Yes, I live time every day. <laughs> so oh, my God. We should have just time. had this guy. Just have yeah. me every time, man. I'm not doing anything. Uh, don't scratch your neck, dude. Oh, Don't do this. Let's stop. Do you really have something there that's stop. nasty? Yeah, I swear to God, dude. I have a new camera for the podcast. He has some sort of weird boil have, on his neck. It's like a boil. I don't know why we're talking about this now. You're wasting our time, Nick. We have to. Yeah, I want to focus yeah, on the podcast. I agree with Dan. This oh, is my life. Don't do this I'm on getting my tattoo tomorrow. I'm going to show it off. I'm going to show it off tomorrow. I don't oh, care. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What are you going to tattoo? A lightsaber? Oh, we are talking about this five times. Uh, <laughs> Dan's going to be mad because I've already brought it up twice. I'm getting <laughs> Darth Vader's penis. No one knows what it looks like. But, but it's made of 10 to the 88th hydrogen. 10 <laughs> to the 80th, 80th hydrogen. Wow, that's a really good... Uh, 
That's a big one. Do you want to? Um, do you want to move on? Listen, you're a guest. You don't get it. I would really like to stay specifically on that. <laughs> anyway, we can move on. I mean, moving pod racer. Well, I'm really enjoying like you guys saying stuff and then me jumping in with something more intellectual. Really <laughs> <that part. laughs> oh nice wow, this guy, this guy. Has anybody really ever good. played the Pod Racer game? The, 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 the Pod Racer one, where it was like a rip off of maybe oh, like Jet yeah, Moto F Zero and no, it was based oh, on um, um what you call Anakin the uh, Rogue One or whatever. Was, it was but I don't. I think it was actually before they, the yeah, movie came it out. Had to be. No, That's so, so the podcast one, the pod, pod ra- racer, pod racer one. Was this is came- a podcast. That's a pod racer. <laughs> this is a pod. <laughs> a, po- a potty in um, your mouth. <laughs> so, so, so the oh, it's, came make out a movie. it's a potty in your mouth. Oh wow, you nasty dude. <laughs> Yeah, I remember the pod. I remember that pod racing game. I had N64, man. Yeah, it was N64. some people can afford it. I'm looking at you, Square up top. <laughs> yeah, I got it. Yeah, Square. Yeah, but yeah, we all. I'm sure we all own N64s. Hmm. I didn't. For those uninitiated, Nintendo 64. <laughs> um, initiated. Um, originally called the what the Famicom before it was Nintendo. But yeah. Hmm. Anyway. You got really good knowledge, dude. <laughs> Where'd you learn that? <laughs> we got knowledge. We, we, gain, we be gaining knowledge here. Yeah. We be gaming knowledge here. Mm-hmm. So you don't remember that game at all, Nick? The racing I really game? I don't remember the racing game. Well, it was basically, do you remember the prequel movie where it's just racing? Yeah. It's, it was a right, well, The whole well, game was just that. It was just called Episode 1. <laughs> That's literally so, all it was called. What got him to do the whole prequels? Like, was there just so much money shoved at him that he was like, yeah, let's do it? Uh, I absolutely believe that. Because I've watched, like, behind-the-scenes stuff of, like, them making the prequel and stuff like that and, like, him drawing concepts. But I honestly believe that, like, people wanted another movie. Star Wars was still a juggernaut. Yeah. They were just like, he's like, oh, I'll write about Darth Vader as a baby. Like, that's basically... But it, uh, but it was already preconceived. It was just, I'll flesh it out. I'll yeah, yeah. It. Money and technology, it's like the graphics are finally caught up where you could do it via CGI. Even yeah. though it was kind of it was kind of groundbreaking at the time for graphics. If you look back, it was I'm gonna be shitty. honest. But, what do you remember the last time you guys seen any of those prequels? Uh, no, I have them and I don't no. think I watched. They them. don't hold up. Ten years? No, the one, the first one that came out in '99. Yeah. I, don't, I think I maybe watched that last year. It actually, the effects in that actually still. Look pretty good for a movie yeah. that came out 20 years ago okay i'll give it credit like that's i feel like they put all their money in the effects to stand up to like scrutiny of time and it Everyone actually says anakin was the worst actor he was you can't fault As a kid. kid actor and well no even the adult actor was bad mm-hmm. well that's true you can fault george lucas because apparently he had his actors like doing everything behind a, like in front of a green screen and they had no like every scene is them talking to one another, like just facing each other, and there's no action. It's like sitting on a couch. Yeah, I and heard talking. Natalie Portman wasn't even in the movie. <clears throat> it's not CGI. <laughs> yeah. They were just like act against that. We're just gonna take a couple stills of you, and then oh, you're done. You don't have to say any yeah. lines. <laughs> just go on the press tour. You're good. Hmm. Just make sure so, your uh, your shirt is ripped a little bit in the final scene, so you get to midriff. You're good. Ooh. So episode one gets made. Ninety nine is that when it was? Good mm-hmm. lord, oh, man. that's not crazy. crazy. Almost twenty years. Like I know months. that I feel like it was like five years ago. I mean, I don't, but you know. You know what's sick? I remember the day it came out. I, the exact date. Can we verify this? Go ahead. Dan, we can remember? verify this. Do you? Was it May nine? May nineteenth, two thousand nineteen ninety nine. May nineteenth, nineteen ninety nine. You're saying. I yeah. hope it came out a you day earlier. You are Japan. absolutely correct. Holy <laughs> shit. It's really How sick. So, so, can I be honest? Everyone has, like, like you like music. Dan, I'm not sure what you like, but I'm sure you like <laughs> have, have a cal- things. <laughs> I, You have a cavalcade of things you like. Yeah, yeah. A cavalcade? A cavalcade. I, got, I get a cavalcade. There's a handful, I like of, like, cavalcades. Top, there's a handful of subjects that I like. So, I dig deep and, like, have information from those things that are just, like, just stick for no reason. Why should I remember that? I don't fucking know. That's but. Fun. I just remember it. Savant. Man, crazy. Yeah. It's really bad. I don't 
Do you remember like no the seats you sat in and like the popcorn you ate? May 19th. And the hole in the bottom of the popcorn that made you cry. <laughs> <laughs> my aunt, that's what I did 20 years ago. For the popcorn? Oh my god. I don't think so, dude. She's gonna pay though. <laughs> you, yeah. do? you should have paid With for the popcorn. Nineteen ninety nine. Yeah, I think you're paying with interest. I think you <laughs> know sexually. She's like, I-, I don't know what this kid's talking about. I haven't seen that kid in like a dozen years. And I'll send her like, gonna go. I remember his popcorn. <laughs> and I'd be like, what's that mean? Oh, man. And then I did it to your uncle too. <laughs> when she didn't, when she wasn't listening, or when she didn't. <laughs> his popcorn or yours? I'm a... Who knows? Man. So many popcorn years ago. <laughs> it was the nineties. <laughs> they weren't doing things. Nobody knows. Nineties, yeah. I, don't remember, kind of camera. Camera. I remember dates of movies. So I don't remember dates with your aunt. Huh. Do you remember uh, going to see Can Hardly Wait? Yeah, you probably do. I'm pretty sure I do. Did I see it with you? Yeah, you did. Was it just me and you? Yeah, I think we hit on girls and we told them we were from Meso. Holy crap, that was that? That was Meso. Yeah, yeah, that was Can Hardly Wait. That was Meso. You want to give Dan a little... Yeah, no, I don't. No the listener it's knows it's what you're talking about either. <sighs> was Meso Can supposed to be special? Wait. I told my mother I was going to see um, a Jack Nicholson movie that was out the exact same year. What the hell was it? Was it rated uh, R and you couldn't get in? Any, uh, uh, hardly enough. Got to give? Oh. Either gotta give or something hardly enough or enough or oh, hardly Jennifer Love Hewitt. Wait. As good as it gets. As good as it gets. Yeah. Was out. Exactly. Yeah. And my mom was like, okay. And then uh, we saw Can't Hardly Wait because we were the bad boys. Jerry O'Connell. And we saw these girls and they were interested in us. And they said, oh my God, what school do you guys go to? And, and we said, Ransom. Well, yeah, that's our school. You can look it up. It's gone. I don't care. Um, yeah, it's destroyed. I blow it up. <laughs> And the girls went back, what? Meso? And you were like, yeah, yeah, Meso. Like, real quick. And I just remember them being like, that sounds really cool. And I was like, yeah. And they were like, I like you guys. And that was it. That was, I that don't was remember that part. last part. <laughs> yeah, no, they liked us. And they liked really? us. We were from Meso. It just well, didn't... Here's the thing. Like, there was no phones. Like, they couldn't just be like, Oh, you know what? Where is that? Let me look it up. Let me call your landline. Meso, like, let's see Meso could have been anywhere. Meso could have been... Uh, Meso still could be. It could have been a high school. It could have been a college. It could have been a law school. They don't know. Call the information <laughs> hotline. 411 <laughs> yeah. on that Meso. <laughs> we just came out of Can't Hardly Wait, and we were just watching. we got to go back to law school on Meso. <laughs> so these girls are going to be here. They think we go here. Can you just tell them we're enrolled in Meso? <laughs> We make our own sign for Meso and put it on these buildings. <laughs> Meso Industries. Meso Meso. So, so Meso. Yeah, shout out Meso. Yeah. R.I.P. Meso. Ah, R.I.P. R.I.P. Meso. So yeah. Attack of the Clones came out. Uh, the first movie didn't have great success. Second movie had uh, success. I don't know. Ooh. Well, yeah, it had actually good success. Bad, badish reviews. Is that so makes- it's the opposite. The the first one, yeah, uh, Phantom Menace had great success, and then over time, people million. realized they didn't like it. Yeah, yeah. Had bad. people people thought it was okay and good when it came out because they it thought just, it was they building had, like, to something. Blinders on, and then they yeah, saw the they had second piece of on shit. That, like Star Wars hasn't come out in a while. Oh my god, a new Star Wars movie! Like fuck, like this is the best thing ever. Well, everyone realized they didn't like it. I remember my mom bringing me to that movie and watching it, and it was like I didn't even know what I was watching, so it just brought me <laughs> popcorn. <laughs> What was that? <laughs> she bought she bought me all With my popcorn? snacks. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Dan, Dan. We need to tell you something. <laughs> Good. But yeah, it, that one, I remember watching that one, and then the second one, even as like a, how old was I? This is 02. As a teenager, yeah. like watching Jar Jar Binks, Binks, it was like shudder. Like that was awful. There's <sighs> awkward. like a water awkward. city we in the middle that was just like borderline racist. A little bit, yeah, yeah. Um, Misa, <clears throat> I guess it wasn't meant to be, but can we talk about that though? Yeah, go yeah, ahead. Because the George the... Lucas naively <clears throat> racist, okay. like you just said, it wasn't meant to be. Like the green guys, if you remember the beginning of Phantom Menace, you see Liam Neeson, Ewan McGregor on a ship. There's green dudes, right? They have sure. 
weirdly eastern accents with certain looking eyes. Yeah. People caught on to that really quick. Uh... And then Jar Jar Binks was like, you know, that kind of, uh, how would you describe the way he talks? I think that was like offensive. To Jamaican. People. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's Jamaican. Jamaican right? And then there was it's also, like... there was also this guy, Watto, W-A-T-T-O. He was the one that owned Anakin. Yeah. He was a slave and he was like Arabian and he kind of mocked, like it was a stereotype of like that culture. So I think, listen, when it was He's made, ripping on you know, international but, culture to try to make his movie. Yeah, like he tried, I think he tried to make a melting pot of the universe and it kind of just came out as like, uh, you probably right. I I hmm. actually agree. I think he was trying to make, like he was like, no one in here speaks Jamaican. We gotta have more people in here. Let's yeah, do it. it. Let's do it. This is a great idea. And they Let's were be like, honest. the originals are all just white people. Yeah, a hundred percent. Yeah, it's like a gap. They were so much better. <laughs> Can we get <laughs> what? It's not racist nope. at all. It's Cut true. No, nope, that's not. Nope. <laughs> the um, how about black versus white? Like even or color schemes, mm. good versus evil. Yeah, but then they have I guess what? The stormtroopers are white. Okay, Lando okay. Calrissian was a good guy, sort of. Yeah, 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 yeah. Which is ironic because he does business and talks to Boba Fett, whose ship is called the Slave One. Come on, guys! Oh, I didn't even catch that. Mm. That's pretty good. Come on, isn't that a little jacked up? You know, you can't talk it about that stuff. It's kind of weird. Yeah, you're right, actually. Over time, stuff gets dated. Like, there's no getting around it. I mean, this podcast will be dated. If they watch it in 5,000 years, they're going to be like, oh, tomorrow. Oh. Well, since future dystopian. <laughs> they're going to be like, dystopian futures now. I mean, <laughs> retro future. Resident will come in handy. Yeah, he's making a joke about our real world, this dystopian. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. How offensive. Yep. Uh, I forget where I was going with that, but it probably had to do with Star Wars and Jar Jar Binks. Hmm. Probably. Yeah, it's, it's a shame. It's a shame. I, I actually, it, I, if, sure I was a, if I was a little kid, at like a little little kid at the time I saw that, I probably would have thought it was funny. But I think it was like 15 or 16 <laughs> yeah. when I saw him. High school. Yeah, I was like in high school, like around that <clears> age. <throat> so I was just like, I don't did get that, it. Wait, did that actor <laughs> die or uh, get no? Death that threats. actor, that actor got death threats and wanted to kill himself. Just yeah. like uh, times. the the new ones. With the uh, was it Rose? Is that the new, new one? That... Yeah, no, you're right. Rose. All right, she no, got death threats forward, just for hopefully. being an Asian girl on oh, a movie. Oh, that's crazy. Yeah. So like, move. Okay. okay. No, 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 I was just gonna say like it's these people like even if you don't like the character, these people behind the characters get super like super fans. Yeah. Get affected by super fans. Like if people don't like Jar Jar, they didn't take it out on like I'm a Jar Jar like boy. They yeah. are. I'm at best one to kill himself because fucking people. We're like, you suck. Literally, you suck. Like, you contributed to the, the terrible thing. Go kill yourself. You're like, people racist. would be like that. Well, you're the worst. Yeah. It is kind of messed up. He's still alive. Really. It's just so it's messed okay. up. It is. Yeah. So, moving on, uh, they made these three prequels, right? Mm-hmm. Can you name yeah. them? Phantom Menace. Dan, Dan can you name Attack them? Of the Co- I can't Ooh. even look at them. <laughs> no. Yeah, Come you're on. damn right. <laughs> Phantom Menace and well, then Revenge of the Sith, cool. right? Yep. Well, and then the third one, Revenge of the Sith. Yeah, which were so, out of order. They were one, two, three. After we watched four, five, six, right? Because yeah, 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 okay, okay. yeah, yeah, okay. So the originals <laughs> from the seventies and eighties were four, five, and six. So then that's why they had the prequels, mm-hmm. one, two, three. But mm-hmm. we find out that Darth Vader was actually Anakin. He was a good guy. He turned bad. Can you? Stop hiccuping on our podcast. I'm so drunk right now. I don't know how to talk. <laughs> Says straight Everclear in that. Can you be serious? Maybe. Wow. Anyway, I don't know if we can use this, Dan. Alcohol abuse is not our thing. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, um, <laughs> so so Anakin becomes like kind of like the. The linchpin. Yeah, I'm using the same word again. You said it yeah. twice. I don't yeah. know why you're recycling yeah. big words. I... <laughs> I don't have a new big word. Anyway, he's like kind of the linchpin, if I were to use a term used earlier, of the whole he's a key character. three part series. Yeah. He's a character because who he becomes who grew up. Ah, what? he becomes dark, dark Vader, as I refer to him. <laughs> uh, why do you refer to him like that? 
Because <laughs> I know it makes people mad if I say it wrong. <laughs> so, actually, is there a reason it's Darth or Vader? Or either of those? Like, um, I think Vader means father in German. Oh, for real? Yeah, and I don't know what Darth means. I think Darth is just like... Darth. George Lucas's way of like knighting. Like, this is like a command like level. Darth is a variation of dark. <laughs> so, like, okay. Nick is right. <laughs> uh, 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 there you go. I play drum and bass. You fucking hear that? Anyway. Huh. What does Vader mean? Look it up. He just... I didn't hear him say Vader. I didn't is that right? You wanna... Yeah, you are right. Pat on the back. Damn, man. I <laughs> I need my own podcast. <laughs> <laughs> podcast is just really people fact-checking to see who's right. That's all it is. It's me and Dan. <laughs> and I'm asking you to fact-check something I think is right. <laughs> the thing is, we checked out earlier today on Wikipedia, and we're just checking later in the day. Mm-hmm. So it's like we checked early in the day. Let's double check later in the day. Yeah. Anyway, the whole thing of the prequels is kind of like uh, the rise and fall of the Death Star, the rise and fall of Anakin as Darth Vader. Spoiler alert, anyone who hasn't seen, turn off their kill your family. Kill your... <laughs> I'm sorry. Kill, kill them with kindness. Wait, can I... Can, okay. No physical harm. Kill them with kindness. Can you imagine? Oh my god. Knives. Gunners, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> that was from what the Famicom. We have no No affiliation whatsoever. Uh, click, the link, click my link. <laughs> see my content. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> He's gonna blow up overnight <laughs> when the police find him. Um But the whole thing is Anakin is a relatable I think it's actually a a really good story. It's just poorly done because mm-hmm. It was a prequel, Dan. You're, you're well. The kid, like, the kid was it. really objectionable. Like as something like smug about like a nine year old. I don't know how old he was, but like, how do I hate a nine year old? He's a bad actor. No, you put wait, a kid in the wrong you, wait. You're circumstances. Hate, you're hating on the kid, or you're hating yeah, on the kid. Hate I'm hating on the, the circumstances. Kid. I think. Is it, no, he, I hate the kid. I think the kid was really bad. Like, actually, there's tons of kids actors the kid. there. But... Children What's are awful. Name? What's his name? I have no idea. You want to? Um, Jake Lloyd. Jake Lloyd. Oh, Did he ever do anything ever again? Jake Lloyd. He lives. He's right behind me, sleeping on my couch. <laughs> he got all your death threats. Death uh, threats. Jake Lloyd. But he looks like a Corey. One of those Corys that didn't make it past the eighties. Wow. That. Wow. <laughs> Good shit. Oh, he, that was harsh. But the whole the whole idea of him is. All these stories that were wildly popular are kids who grow up normal lives and find out they're special. This kid, you know, is special ahead of time. Do you think that hurts? He never did. He did one movie after that, and it was like six years later. You know what the movie he did before that was? Apollo 11. Uh, He made Jingle Jingle All the Way. way. He was Jamie Langston, if anyone's really into Jingle All the Way. (laughs) I love it. I didn't well, here's here's the thing that that the prequels have going against them. Darth Vader's a bad guy. We kind of know Anakin's going to become him. It's kind of a spoiler alert. You don't know, but you kind of mm-hmm. do. You hate him before you know him. His transformation's going to happen in front of you. Like if they were released one, two, three in the seventies, four, five, six, it, mm-hmm. it changes the layout. But you know ahead of time that one, two, three are prequels, and they lead to the movies you love. So I think he's kind of got a lot stacked against him. I think he's kind of he's got no leg to stand on, no arm to hold on to. Uh, it's Luke. Yeah. Oh, dude, <laughs> too soon. I did, I did. Too early. But, I don't know. But there's no way for him to come out as a good guy or a winner, or he's going to be bad regardless. They want you to hate him. So kind of, he's a lost cause. The whole the whole prequel thing was kind of a lost cause, I think. Well, it was weird because they. George Lucas made them to humanize Darth Vader, right? To make him yeah, likable. After the fact. But because but he's the worst person in the universe. It's like Yeah. Oh, and you know? it's weird because you would think that like say say someone like I'm just picking a really good actor, Leonardo DiCaprio. Mm-hmm. Like just say for example, he played Anakin. He was a really good actor when he was younger. Yeah. So he could have convinced me that he was a good person and then turned evil. He's, it mm. sucks because the acting and the dialogue didn't portray so to the me the dialogue. That didn't portray to me that this guy shifted over so heavily to become the most feared guy in the galaxy. Like, it just didn't work. 
Like there was things that worked about those movies, but that was like the worst part because I'm not convinced this guy overnight just just went. Oh, I want to kill everybody. Well, in in that respect, like it has to be. He has to become a shithead at some point. This actor, yeah, because he's going to become Darth Vader. Regardless, let's let's look forward because we have the three that yeah. started. Skip four, right five, over and Darth six. Maul. Yeah. The three that are the prequel, right? Okay. Mm-hmm. And, brr, 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 brr. and we had right, some cool it. fight scenes. We had, right, and they were made by a different production company. Like who who made the uh, the the prequels? Do you guys know? No one cares. What do you mean production? Twentieth uh, Century Fox and Lucasfilm okay. made the prequels okay. and the originals. So he released. released they released all of it. He kind of. He, all right, did, but did, he made yeah, paid a bunch of money to give up the rights. I thought at some point. money grab. Yeah. Well, hold on. So then we're not we there yet. Forward. And this is the next jump. I'm going to wait. sold the rights to everything. Go ahead. Are we ready to go there? So there's go. there's a period in go high down. school. I love I do love Star Wars. So there's a period in high school where I played Knights of the Old Republic, which is like one of the best video games uh, game. anyone's ever game. played. And there's just something about it, like the universe you're in, the weapons you get, the way you build things, and then you know, like the powers and the way they kind of like merge together. It's like that sort of thing doesn't exist in any other kind of universe. So there's a bit of environment mm-hmm. to like everything Star Wars does, which led into Star yeah. Wars Galaxies, which was an MMO, which was fucking awesome. Mm-hmm. I remember being so psyched about it because I'd come off of like playing EverQuest and wanting to like do another MMO. I was like making uh-huh. graphics for it, like I had like a little like intro scene that made me like a little bit of a, an animator. Horny, horny, horny for Star horny? Wars. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. You just say yeah. Just say yeah. <laughs> Stick just figures yeah, fighting I mean, with lightsabers. Yeah. I don't care who's watching, Dan. Just say yeah. Ramazoil yeah. Prism. I don't know why. Say yeah. Yeah, sure. Just say yeah. Maybe Thank real you. hard. Thank you. Real hard. <laughs> wow. Super I hard. Supported you, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Family fun. Oh Jesus. And that game was good. <laughs> yes, it was. <laughs> so, the, so that's interesting because. Were you done with the movies at that point? Did you not care about Star Wars, but you cared about the games? I cared yeah, more about the games. I think the games were more immersive than anything else that was out there. Yes, I know. I, I 100% agree. Because I guess to segue into you talking about the new movies, I kind of did the same thing. I played Star Wars games, but the one I started playing like six or seven years ago was just Star Wars The Old Republic. Mm-hmm. And I still yeah. have that on my computer. And I downloaded it. I love it. I think it's immersive. Like I think it's fucking fantastic. It's the backdrop, the backdrop is better right. than the actual movie. Yeah. So like, for there when there was no new movies, this was my universe. This was my Star Wars. Like aside from like maybe books or comics or TV shows, like this was like my story. Like I made a guy. This is my story. Like I'm going to these different planets. Mm-hmm. And so it's interesting when the new movies came out. I'm just like, oh, I wish my guy went to that planet. <laughs> I wish my guy like. Was in that movie destroying Anakin yeah. before he became? See, what was, <laughs> you guys are Dan? touching. Oh, good, good. I was gonna say, Dan, what was your character's names? Holy shit! I think this goes How back do you to not like no. I think it was like you gotta know. I have I have a preset like set of names that I usually use. I think it was like mm-hmm. Alien because that was one of my my handles. But I don't have like mm-hmm. a I don't have a Star Warsian name for him. Oh. I for everything I ah, do Star Wars so and like create a character. For anything, I make a name called Musk Lander, M U S K, and it sounds like a Star Wars name. Musk Lander. It does actually. It Musk works. Lander. So every time, <laughs> a character, but especially in that Star Wars, The Old Republic, like I made him, he's like a Han Solo, like smartass. He's got an orange mustache. He's got orange hair. He's just a cocky dickhead. But I was like, the name just fit him, and I love making that name everywhere. Musk Lander. I like Musk that. Musk Lander. That's pretty good. The what is interesting you guys are talking about, which 100%, it's a whole other episode. Um, watching a movie versus playing a video game, um, most people's girlfriends or wives or... Show a lot of disgust. Yeah, girlfriends or wives will say, oh my god, you want to waste time playing video games? While they're watching like a half-hour show followed by a half-hour show Anatomy. followed by a half-hour Sha. <laughs> yeah. I don't know why I said Friends. Sha the last time. Sha. But anyway, yeah, Friends. And they're watching Grey's Anatomy, and they're watching The Good Doctor, and they're watching um, Recycled Trash. Uh, it's the Italian one where they all hate uh, each other. the reunion. Uh, Jersey Shore. No, not. Uh, I don't know. You know Housewives. more about I don't, I don't really watch TV. 
But they watch these shows and they're like, you're wasting your time playing video games. But like for an hour and a half, they watch three shows in a row and you're like, the cool thing about a video game is that you're watching the game, but you're interacting. Like you're mm-hmm. in the world. Like it's, I think that's so much cooler and so much more not it's more wasting immersive. your time. It's a more immersive yeah. and I think your brain is being re- more reactive. Yeah, I think it's better it, for you. It, it's it's annoying better. because now that uh, to sort of shift into another genre, but like it now the video games, good, well, but... now the video games are like more mainstream. Obviously, mm-hmm. like it sucks because years ago, like twenty years ago, you would be the biggest loser in the world if like you had a girlfriend and your girlfriend was watching like some reality show in two thousand, two thousand five, or whatever, and mm-hmm. you were playing video games. Like it, even though it's not so much a problem now, it might still be. But I, I hate that there's still those people that like there's think a it's a waste of time. A little bit. Yeah, there's like, like better st- time with games. There's better like, stories in games than there are in books or movies. Not better, but well, he's, it depends yeah. on the movie. It depends on the game. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, I, you I, can I, get I, a better I, experience. He's touching on like geeks and nerds. Like back then, geeks and nerds had like a really negative connotation to them, yeah. and now it's like geeks and nerds are like Star Wars thing band- banded together, and they're it's kind of a popular thing to be like player yeah. on. Like, Twitch, yeah, full Fortnite. circle. This whole this whole Star Wars thing. You think of that. Like everyone who watched Star Wars was a Star Wars nerd. They knew the culture. They knew all the Tatooine. They knew all the planets. They knew no, the Ewoks. There's only Nick. There's only one Tatooine. There's only one. <laughs> but they knew all of it. They knew the terrain. They knew which mountain. Do you know the mountain? What planet? What, pla- what What's that planet? Let me know. What's What's on Tatooine? There's a mountain range on it called Siskua. <laughs> you're so you're so right. I don't even want to correct. Wow, I yeah. mean uh, Conan. Anyway, Conan Mountain Range. Mm-hmm. The Conan Mountain Range. Yep. I mean, seriously, it's so gotta, close. It's it so close. really into the lore. I mean, uh, Bangers Canyon late. is another part of Tatooine. Bangers Canyon. Bangers Bang- Canyon is actually mm-hmm. a real location on Tatooine. So you want to shut your fucking mouth? A real fake location. Yeah. Yeah, a real fake location. So <laughs> cut your feet. Right so now. anyway, but. Let's go to the yeah, let's go to the selling out. Serious. Go to the sell out. All right, let's go to the sell out, guys. So moving forward, Mr. Luckus, is that how you pronounce it? I don't know. I don't know. Who knows? George Luckus. He sold right. the rights to one of the smaller right. indie companies in the area. Disney. 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 <laughs> Disney. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Disney, Irish Disney. Irish folks, Disney. It was Disney. Star Wars sold to Disney. And how did as that in turn Disney out? World, as in Aladdin. Actually, I don't remember the movies, actually. I how watched much them. Money for? Come on. How much did he buy it for? How much did they buy it for? Four million. Oh, four how much do you have this? Four point four point two billion. Look it up. Look it up. One of the bigger purchases of all time. I think it's four point two billion. Four point oh five billion. What an idiot! This guy, Lee Burma, was a guest. Shame. 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 I had a bag of popcorn in front of me for myself. (laughs) He's waiting for after the show. And the hole is already cut. The holes are in every every corner. (laughs) But what movies did they make? Like the first, they were setting up their own little. The three. Which were what? They've made. They've actually made four movies under the Disney like Uh, ownership. The solo one, right? Right. So they've made four. Awakens, which everybody and their mother has seen. Uh, Rogue One. Mm-hmm. Yep. Um, Last Jedi and the Han Solo one. What was the third one? And they're going to be making. So the third one is the third, like numbered, like big one is coming out this December. Ah, okay. So, so it's like the final. The... That's like the final one of these numbered. Now they're not making any more numbered ones. And now these three are based on um, Han Solo. Um, whose dog? Whose kid like is it? Seven, so eight, nine, right? She's Ray. Yeah, she's is Ray. Is Ray. Dog she's not dog. anyone's kid. She's just I, like a person that lives on a, on a planet. They're completely like I'm I'm unrelated. Like, she's unrelated. She just has the force. She has like the sensitivity to the sure? force. Dude, I literally read Wikipedia. They're called Metaclorians. Did you read Wikipedia or Wikipedia? Wikipedia. <laughs> Do I do a better Wookiee than you, Tom? Uh, Probably. Uh, <laughs> Wookiee. That was your one. That was the best one. You just said the word Wookiee. Wookiee. Did he, I want to rewind the tape. He's not doing He's not doing it. He can't do it. 
Choo choo right. Chewbacca. True fans. Yes, episode over. This he's a guest. He doesn't get uh, <laughs> Wookie. Dan, it, uh, can he hear us right now? I I regret everything. Hello. Sure? Yeah. Hello. Are you still there? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, these new episodes. So there's Ray. Mm-hmm. She's a farmer. She finds out she has the force. Right? Nope. Same. Not a farmer, but that's okay. Moisture farmer. It's the same. She's a moisture farmer. She's a scavenger. Same scavenger. Thing. Yeah. Nope. That's what we're not saying. Scavenging In Star Wars from farms. World, it's not the same thing. And then they got Kylo Ren, who, by the way, is one of the most attractive actors in all of Hollywood. Would you he agree? Kind of looks like me with long <laughs> hair. Anyway, he's what a Darth Vader <laughs> fanboy. I think I even read that quote. Did you? You didn't see the movie? No, I didn't. <laughs> yeah, I don't remember he's, it. He well, he so he is, but he's also his grandson. Oh snap! He's related. That's pretty cool. So he is Han Solo's son. Han Solo. God damn it! Solo was someone's son. I had the wrong. Okay. Yeah. Kylo Ren, folks. Hmm. Spoiler alert! Anyone watching? Oh yeah, I just spoiled it. If you didn't, not intimidating to go. go. That guy is not scary. He's got a big chest. Yeah. Didn't he He suck up an entire son and then try to? His pants are his pants are high up, right? Yeah, they're like got those nipples. Is it because he has like a weird waist? Um, I think he's part alien, so I think he has like no dick. No, I think he's part Elliot. Elliot? Mm, Elliot. That's his uh, uh, handle. That's his star. Wow. That's his handle. Were you paying attention? I was. I don't. I can't All right, hear so, that. So Disney blind. buys the franchise. Does everyone? I freaked out when I heard this, and I don't like Star Wars. <laughs> <laughs> I freak. I. Honestly, I was like, oh my god, that's the craziest thing that's I ever a heard. a ton of money. Yeah, and they got all the rights to all the toys, all the movies, all mm. the everything. Yeah. Like, it's a lot. It's right into the environment. Oh. You could, like, build yeah, an environment dude. like that. What were, Make it real immersive, yeah, like you're you walking around. What were you this announcement? J.O. into John Williams' Imperial March. Oh, what see that? that? Bringing in the music. Dun, 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 no, wait a minute. Your stories don't line up. You didn't even care about Star Wars, but you said you were excited. <laughs> yeah, physically. <laughs> okay. Not 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 like emotionally or anything like that. Uh, it was just, so you just you just jo to anything related to Star Wars, but you don't know what you're jo to. <laughs> uh, anything John Williams will do, yeah. Jurassic Park theme, your Superman you theme. I think he did Superman theme. Good call. Yeah. Oh man. Good call. Call. Good call. A man bringing knowledge. The sound effects too, <laughs> music and sound effects. Did he? Yeah, I don't know if he did sound he effects, did. but like I'm yeah. talking about, like uh, the Star Wars universe has like indelible things that you just think. yeah, they're unique. You can't you can't forget them. I think the lightsaber sound was him unzipping his pants. Mm-hmm. That's where it, yep, sure. Yeah, mm-hmm. you can look it up on Wikipedia, mm-hmm. but mm-hmm. it might have been deleted. I think we have to wrap it up, guys. No, we don't. When you talk um, about the what were the plot, plots of the movies, like one was uh, so how how their relatives. The other one was like getting data off of a shit. server. Did you know every movie had a trap? <laughs> and did I don't remember. I watched them, but they, there's no recollection. Like honestly, there's they're so trap. terrible so, that I just don't there's like a theme. <laughs> they think it's like. Most movies have dark moments where, like, it looks like the bad the, the bad guys are winning, all the good guys are losing, everything is going. An actress has really really big teeth, yeah, yeah. but I kind of like the teeth. I don't know. Uh, no, to both of you. <laughs> but, but but all Star Wars movies have this trap theme where the movie starts out. It looks like you know who the good guys are. You look like you know who the bad guys are, and they go to a, a situation they have planned or a. A meet and greet where they're gonna have brunch, or uh, they're gonna go steal something from a ship, or get plans to destroy a Death Star. And every time they go, it's a trap. Every movie you yeah. watch, every goddamn Star Wars, there's a trap in every movie. Yeah, it's a trap. It's like oh, no, it's a trap. The good guys, or like, or like a turn, <laughs> a turn a trap. End or something betrays somebody, or yeah, exactly. It's a trap. Or the Chewbacca force field isn't open. Be... Wookie. Stop. <laughs> uh, 
Where did you guys want to take the episode? Because honestly, what did you, so you guys hold on, here we go. So mm-hmm. Nick, you haven't seen any of the newer ones, correct? Yeah, that's correct. I'm doing Dan. an episode of Star Wars. I haven't seen the, the new ones. <laughs> okay, Dan, you've seen I've the newer seen ones. I've seen them, but I. I don't like the graphics and stuff. Like really good, but the storylines are awful. They're so generic and so plain, and so predictable. So the old ones, if you think about it a little bit. That's. I mean, honestly, if you really think about it, the first Star Wars is like the most plain Jane, like black and white plot ever. I guess it's true. Changed. I think your expectations have changed from the seventies to the now. Of course. And I I think the new ones. It's really funny because you're like the the plots are so. You're saying like they're. Don't, like they don't they're the same or we need to get this thing let's go do this thing oh wait a second there's just something else that we need to avoid isn't doing. that every single movie isn't that pulp fiction isn't that die hard isn't that unbreakable <laughs> didn't i just name bruce willis movies isn't that every bruce <laughs> i don't know that they say movies? that in the movie <laughs> bruce willis movies. come on Dan. But, welcome yeah, audience we're gonna do this thing so that it I makes sure disagree. that we we avoid this thing Listen. again i thoroughly i mean i get the criticisms of all the movies you like I those movies saying. it's a, do you like yeah. them? Oh. Are you getting really close right now? <laughs> I feel violent. Yeah, I, don't know. I, didn't like, I like the one the one that people didn't like uh, was The Last Jedi. That was the last numbered one. Wait, people didn't like that one? I thought that got good reviews. A lot of people didn't like it because they didn't like what... How it ended? What the director's interpretation what of the... what the characters would do. Uh, so, also, while we're here, the three new ones got a new director. And that right. and Ray, like the main Jedi, learns everything really quickly. Doesn't she? Luke she, she, she just just like on modify someone else, else, right? Do, all right. Both your, he pulls both, on it. Both your points, Nick. It's J.J. Abrams. Yeah, Abrams is doing this. And I think they're they're getting different people. They get different people each movie. Of course. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's so I think they want like different identities from different directors. That makes sense. I mean, but it also works. changes continuity. No, not at all. <laughs> what is podcast now what did, what did jj abrams do originally you told me and i was actually surprised um, that. explosions what did he do lots of explosions yeah. like what did he transformers make? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. transformers he made, uh, alias he made lost eight millimeter he made no, mission impossible what, three had, um i thought he did something with the, the original star wars like he was working on special effects or something or he did no. something before he was directing no oh he wrote he was a big he was a famous like writer no. Before he made movies. Are you trying to catch me in a trap? No, I have to pee. It's a trap. Bad. Just well, you're going to have to yeah, wait. It's a trap, dude. Just pee. Hey, dude. All right, I'm going to leave and pee. We got to... You guys have to carry the episode. I've never done this That's before. Fine. You've done this all the time. All right. Well, I, have, I actually have a good thing all to ask part. you, Dan. Yeah, hit it. Nick's, Nick's taking a piss. Nobody pees in any Star Wars movies. Hmm. There Nobody are. runs off and says like I gotta use the bathroom or like runs off in a bush even like nothing. No one's ever coming out of the bathroom. Like I guess yeah, nobody's never... coming. Like Darth Vader doesn't have toilet paper on his shoe coming out of a room. I don't think people really do that anymore. Anyway, but... if you were a Jedi, do you even need to pee? Can't you just like decide That's... not to do that? So here, here's the thing. It's a long time ago in a galaxy far, far away. Maybe they evolved where they don't. Nothing comes out of them anymore. But that doesn't uh, Anakin have sex with uh, Padme? Isn't that how they make a baby? Yeah, but it's pee and not semen. <laughs> but... <laughs> Different hole. <laughs> yeah. They... So huh. just so just pee comes out, but in different opp- situations. Okay, we solved it. We solved it completely entirely. We solved it. We, we didn't even need Nick around. We solved it. Okay, just forget <sighs> that conversation ever happened now. I don't want him being a part of it. That so the great. solo movie was terrible because that actor couldn't yeah. pull off uh, Harrison Ford. Yeah. Okay. No one can pull. I think my Ford. I think my bias is obvious. I have a bias towards Star Wars because even if something's okay, I'll still be like, it's okay. Like in my head, like nothing's really bad. My favorite thing ever, except yeah, the prequels. Yeah. The Han Solo movie. Yeah, it wasn't Harrison Ford, and it's weird because we already know what Harrison Ford looked like as Han Solo in his like 30s. Right? They made him like CGI mm-hmm. Harrison Ford, which is yeah. Even weirder. So like. So, like, what they did with this kid, like, this kid had the chips stacked against him, like Nick was saying earlier, because this kid got cast as a young Han Solo. Like, everyone's going to criticize you for that. 
Like even if yeah. you're good or if you're bad, like this kid isn't gonna win. You're not gonna you're not gonna meet up to so Hanzo. We didn't make ever. money because a lot of people are just like, yo, fuck this. Like this ain't Harrison Ford. Like if I want to see young Harrison Ford, I watch the old movies, and nobody yeah. gave it a chance. And it's actually like, it's more Star Wars than the newer movies. Like it's very easy to follow. It's it's very much in the same vein as like the '80s '70s ones. Mm-hmm. Like it's very the action scenes are very bouncy. Like there's com- comedy a little bit, like. Interplay it's between characters, like the characters yeah, might actually know each other instead of like saying wooden lines, yeah, and having fake so, like, love if you romances. Guys ever get a chance, if you ever get the chance, the solo movie is actually way better than you probably read, or you probably like saw from like the amount of money it made. Actually, I think I'll check them out. I mean, eventually, like especially if I'm going to do an episode on Star Wars or whatever. <laughs> Does your kid have any interest? Like, do you have six kids, five kids? Do you, do you think I bought this for myself? Yeah, but like, yeah. does he know what it is? You just shove it. No, in no, no. Oh, hold on. His favorite song is the Imperial March. Dun, I don't think that's dun. true. <laughs> no, I swear to God. Is he becoming a Nazi? That shouldn't be someone's favorite song. No, it's it's a badass song, dude. Look at the time signature and stuff. Like that song's crazy. It even has a part in the middle where it's like. Like you guys have no clue what I'm talking about, but if you heard it, you'd be like, ah, oh, I freaking forgot that was in Imperial March. So, so here's a yeah. weird thing. Obviously, you know that's what I'm like, talking about. Well, and your dad's yeah. a flutist. Yep, that's it. <laughs> uh, but you were just because you love that song, whatever. And yeah. Your son loves it, but it's a fake song. It's a song for the movie. In the Han Solo movie, you hear it playing in the background, like somewhere they are. Do you? It's not the radio. So, that means, so it's like that's meta. Cool. It's meta in a way, uh-huh. right? It exists also in the Star Wars world, even mm-hmm. though it's a song. It's fucking weird. It's a really weird moment because you hear it and you're like, why that shouldn't exist in the world? It's a theme song. Right. Yeah, it's very so odd. It's... That's one of like my few things I don't like about that movie. But yeah. so Let's skip to like Galaxy's Edge. You guys know what that is? Yes. Ah. I wish I had money to go. Disney is making like a theme park entirely related to Star Wars. Ah, when you pay four point oh five billion, if you did your research, damn, mic drop on my boy George Lucas. (laughs) (laughs) Um, making money. You might as well try and cash in, right? Yeah, I mean, I think it was just like the largest and most expensive park that they've built. Really crazy. It's not. Where are they doing it? Is this is this Florida Disney World area? Yes, Disney is part of. Yeah, it's like okay. Okay, I didn't know. So it's going to be entirely like. Yeah. brand new fresh park so they did kind of the same thing yeah. with like harry yeah. potter and it's kind of awesome that like these trilogies get their own little area that you can actually physically experience well, can right I... that is cool so no, it's weird no it's Nick, sorry you know, no we can't do that <laughs> sir i uh, uh, uh I, I don't like harry potter no i i didn't like harry potter at all That's i thought okay. it was fucking stupid like i didn't care about it sure. i went to florida like four years ago and it was there. So I was like, I'll do Harry Potter World. It was amazing. So it made me like the movies. Oh. I feel like people, if that don't like Star Wars, might go to this and be like, and oh my like, God, I do like Star Wars. Like, there's so much to I, it. I I had no reason to hate Harry Potter. I just thought it was funny. Right, you just didn't particularly care. Yeah. It was post I was like, why are they wearing scarves? They're stupid. They have glasses. Like, I can beat them up. They're kids. <laughs> I could steal their lunch money. I, do, I agree. I don't know that you can be like wizards. Everything I'm saying. He about, might get most of the You're just a muggle, cards. so I don't yeah. know that you could overtake a wizard. I could probably take a break his stick, and that's it. <laughs> it's a metaphor. Like I would just. Like, <laughs> done. I think it's awesome. I mean, do you plan on going to Florida anytime soon, Dan? Uh, when the kids are old enough to to know like what's going on. If yeah. they like it, you know, it all depends on that. So, yeah, so, it, it might be too overwhelming for little kids. I think so. Like, I have a nephew that's yeah, like I, five. Yeah, I left now. my kid in Disney World. He was three. I still haven't picked him up. I hope he's okay. <laughs> God, he must be like ten by now. <laughs> the Disney orphans. Yeah, <laughs> Disney orphans. <laughs> that's They're how they get all their characters, now. right? They come oh from God, nothing and then they become the terrible <laughs> superstars of the world. That's awesome. Or they're forced to just. Roam the park as Darth Vader mm. and Stormtroopers. Yeah. <laughs> we didn't mm. even talk about Clone Wars oh, cartoons. Yeah. That's a shame. Clone well, Wars cartoon was, was the tits, man. I like, agree. Really? I agree with the tits. Yeah. And it might not be that popular, but Star Wars Rebels, 
became the tits. Hmm. You know what Rebels what was? Rebels now. was the cartoon. Rebels was the cartoon that came out afterwards. Same thing, like CG looking stuff. Hmm. But it continued the story. And it it wasn't good in the beginning. It was like too kid, too much like a kid show. Was like, you know, they were, everyone was super goofy. Darker. But it became darker and like more hmm. like the themes were really heavy. And I was hmm. like, holy shit, like it's a really interesting show. And Darth Maul showed up in it. He showed up in uh, Clone Wars. Darth Maul. Drag? He showed up in drag, didn't he? He was wearing like a skirt, but like we didn't want to judge him. It was tiny. She, 2019. him, hers, or <laughs> who knows? You know, be, your, be yourself, guys. That's what I say. <laughs> call me Maul. <laughs> yeah, call me Molly. <laughs> he wanted to be called Molly. <laughs> God damn it, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Um, that's wild. Yeah, Nick's getting quiet here because he hasn't watched the last uh, three movies, but that's okay. <laughs> the last yeah. movies. I'm like, anyway, Darth Vader. I'm like, he's like doing a choke thing. Oh, yeah. Imagine if he jerk someone off. So me, and Dan, me and Dan are snorting like he hasn't done it since episode four. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. The um, you guys keep talking about um secondary things like um video games and like lands and mm. cartoons and stuff so star wars is still spawning off like pretty much really badass cool That's what happens imaginary when you make stuff. like a universe what do they universe. call it supplementary supplemental yeah supplementary yeah, supplementary like that. That's yeah fine. like it adds it'll add on to like the branching like a tree of like you know this is what happened during episode four and five like here's a cartoon about it shot for it what? Who shot first? The South. What did you say? Who shot first? You know the answer to that, dude. I do. The article I read said Han. Han did. But George Lucas made Greedo shoot first. Okay. That's interesting. It's a big debate. You know, I don't even want to talk to you about it. My girlfriend beats me when I don't get the answer right. Oh, well, that's, that makes sense. She beats you when you get the answer right, too, right? Yeah. Oh, I asked for it. <laughs> I'm not even talking about Star Wars when I say it. <laughs> Oops. Um, Greedo, not Guido. Greedo. Good old Greedo. Yeah, Greedo, Greedo. Not Guido. He didn't say Guido. Good old Guido. I'm half Italian. No, I'm saying. That's offensive, right? Is that, is that, I think it is offensive. It really bothers. That was George Lucas' first way to be a racist. He named someone a Guido. Guido instead of Guido. That's, that's yeah. good. <sighs> Folks. So what else do you have to say about the new I, movies, Nick? was going to say to wrap it up let's talk about star wars in general and what it represents to us the new movies represent mm, no one's 100 percent sure because no one's seen them all right no <laughs> sure. are they they're a failure right did yeah. they actually yeah. they brought I think they went straight to vhs hundreds straight of millions to straight to, straight to dvd <laughs> what what how much money do they make the new ones you want you uh won an actual can number I, can i throw out some numbers yeah, yeah, if you want to. I know. Force Awakens, I think, made nine hundred and fifty million. Nine thirty six. Yawn, yawn. But go ahead. Uh, Rogue One made like five, Six. five something, five fifty. Five thirty two. How embarrassing! But uh, mm. the the Last Jedi made like five forty. Six twenty. Yo, six twenty. <laughs> and then I think Solo made. Hmm. Uh, way less, like two fifty or two sixty. Two thirteen. Sadly. Damn! Holy shit! I didn't realize Solo made that much. That sucks for that. But those four I is mean, like two billion dollars. That's absurd. It's more than two billion dollars. Yeah. It's not. Maybe and that's, that's just the movie. That's not even merchandise yeah. or any advertising or. Yeah. Uh, it's uh, insane man, how much these things make. All the bands and all the sports you like aren't as popular. No, they all are. You ever heard of, that I've never heard of the sports, yeah. I've never heard of Metallica. Or Slipknot or Opeth or all the other bands you like. You're into like prog rock and like I don't I don't like any of that stuff. Yeah, but I'm listen. Gonna, I'm gonna group, judge it. I don't wanna listen to it. group will never make it. What is it? Guns and Rosens? Rosin. I they play uh, violins uh, or something, yeah. right? Something like that. I don't wanna talk about this stuff right now. I'm gonna keep this pretty G-rated. I'll get I'll get real uh you know risque. You it's me weird. To? Metallica only earned like fifty million dollars over the course of their existence. Wow, really? losers! That's embarrassing. And they lost That's their bassist. <laughs> he died. 
<laughs> you got it. <laughs> that was a, that was a that instead was, of a drum uh, roll, that was a van roll, right? <laughs> yeah, dude, <laughs> take, take that, take that. Uh, you got um, him, dude. It's a shame. I got Cliff Burton. I got him. There's other bases left, dude. James <laughs> Newstead couldn't cut it. <laughs> Robert Trujillo, who? Yeah, that's what I thought. Saint Anger, you listen to that album head to toe every day and you're like I am St. Anger and I'm like dude I don't you see want to talk to you. yeah if I can see that face that's what I'm saying I'm surprised you have that etched on your phone oh my god what is that oh is that it's me you. yeah it was you <laughs> the visual gag was really hard I couldn't tell what it was it's a new HD camera it's 1080 I mean is it though it, it does look better than normal except for that giant yeah they, they add blemishes I heard. <laughs> yeah, you can actually see how ugly he is. Yeah. Ooh, tomorrow. Are you actually getting a tattoo? Yeah, tomorrow. What is the actual tattoo of? 10 to the 80th H. Dan's sick of hearing it. Dan doesn't even hear yeah. it at this point. He's going to write it in okay. binary. I'm going to write it in binary. It's Honest all penis. the um. It's all the matter in the observable universe. How many atoms make up the universe? What does that mean to you? In a galaxy it's long, everything, long ago. everything, dude. If I can get every... Not the galaxy. Jesus Christ. The universe. The universe. Observable oh, the universe, universe. Long, long ago. Good Lord. Anyway, if I can look at my arm and be like, that's all That's all everything is? Everything I can see? Everything I can experience? Everything I can interact with? It's not a big deal. It's on my fucking arm. And then is I'll it put weird a that, Is it weird that I know other tattoos that you have and what they are? There's only two, and I show them on yeah. every podcast. Wait, Apparently, I, I don't... Make Every podcast. Wait, do you still I, have the one of like? No, I got rid of it. The, yeah, the Led Zeppelin tattoo. The Led Zeppelin one. Yeah, I still got right? it. Right. And you know what they Loser, stand for? Man. One's for the drummer. One's for the bass player. Thanks for bringing that up. You fed right into my system. Yeah, fits perfectly into wow. the theme. Is this is this the podcast was actually really about? Uh, 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 this guy. <laughs> no, 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 I mean whatever. Ultimately, hey man, if you like matter, that's fine. I guess that's all that matters. That's pretty good. Pretty good. Yeah, man. Um, we liked having you on. Like, honestly, like, this is good feedback. You know about Star Wars more than anyone. Queen Leia, she's hot. Um, um why Java, you... Java the Hut, he's good. Mm. He's my Jango favorite. Django and he... Boba. He's your favorite hut? <laughs> <Side pizza. laughs> Sunglasses mm. is number one, of course. The gold Who's bikini? Good? Who doesn't remember the gold bikini? Yeah, I do remember that. Leia, Leia, which is also she kind of swing on sleeve. a rope. I mean, who doesn't want to Strangle swing? Strangle Jabba. Oh boy, it's Jabba. funny. I I make that face when he's choking. I make that face when me and my girlfriend are together. He's like, ah. <laughs> <laughs> um, switch from audio to video feed on that one. Everyone, everyone <laughs> watching. Up. In here, like we talked about Star Wars, yeah, we talked every about movie, all the episodes, everything all the we've seen ones. except we for the last the three. Exclusive the audio, the music, <laughs> the experience. We talked about Disney. Music. We talked about the video the games, games, the games. Hoth, ATATs. Oh, about- yes, Dan. We talked about Hoth. We yeah. talked about grappling Hoth. hooks. <laughs> Mostly, we just talked about how it's it's Fresh universal. Powers. I mean, that thing transcends the movies environments ambiance part of our lives a little bit as weird as it is light for dark we've Oedipus, all been having sex with our moms we've all been cutting off uh, our dads we've all been finding out who our father is in a weird way oh it's our sister's it's father us. too who has sex with their mom in the movies everybody which movie oh you saw Star Force <laughs> uh, Die Hard Pulp Fiction. Uh, <laughs> anyway. All the Bristol's classics, that's what happens to them. It's just every single one. His movies are all really unique. We're going to outro it just like the intro. Folks, I'm really glad you could tune in today. Thank you for sticking with us. If you have any um, Star Wars facts you want to put in there, stick them in the comment section. Send them to that name right there. What the Famicom? He's our guest today. Oh, it's our guest. I love him. He's so cool. Otherwise, you can donate to our Patreon. You can go buy your lightsaber from all the websites. We told you. We told you the coupon codes. We really, 
we really think it was great you could join us. We love that you listened. We love that you were part of the action. Anything in the future you want to bring to our attention? Bring it up. But shout out on Pander Dan. Mm-hmm. Shout out what the fat con Dan. Mm-hmm. Shout out everyone. And just folks, we like you. We like you a, a lot. lot. A lot, a yeah. lot. Anything you want to say, Dan? Uh, thank you for having me on your podcast. Awesome. I yes. don't. I don't watch any of your episodes. Ten minutes. Um, They're too long. Um, I'm scared to watch them because they've. This uh, is our longest episode yet. Uh, All right, (laughs) cut, cut, cut. We're done with now. uh, (laughs) Cut him now. Cut. (laughs) Yeah. It's no. It was fun. Uh, Follow me if you want to see terrible, offensive video game memes. Oh. Uh, Follow follow these guys. The at umpander Dan at umpander Nick. At NC Capozzi, at Pandas. Nick Nosy, <laughs> um, um, I'm not uh, gonna cut him yet. Unpander moms, unpander, <laughs> unpander. Did you cut him? No, I didn't cut him yet. Did I hear it blip? It didn't even blip. Cut him. We're done with them. We don't need them anymore. I gotta go upstairs. I have a bag of popcorn in front of me. 